I inspire? I'm Tonina. Welcome today. We're going to be talking about an inspiring new way to invert new resolutions, a deliberate way to be productive about every single day. And the Pareto Principle, you'll be amazed at what's going to happen to you if you follow this step. One more thing, there is a point. Don't forget, follow the inspiration. It's great to see you again and welcome to 2018. Look at how 2017 went so fast. Accomplishments on all sides. It's been an amazing 2017 and all glory goes to him, our God. But 2018 is here on this again and what goals do you have for 2018? Tell me what's spiritual goals, what financial goals, what's Relationship goals, tell me the kind of goals you want to do. You want to travel the world, you want to earn more money, you want to change jobs, you want to start a business, you want to create more spiritual life. Put your comment below. Put your comment below. Well, my goal for 2018 is to put up a video for you to be inspired by every single week for 2018. And that's my goal. That's what I intend to do in 2018, every week. Yeah, so setting goals. Fantastic, setting goals is amazing. It's good to set goals. Looking at your goals, set big goals, big, airy, audacious goals. Be hard. I mean, you know, all of those things. But let's talk about New Year resolutions. Have you set a New Year resolution? I know. We set New Year resolutions every year. As I speak, countless people are setting or writing New Year resolutions, probably over a drink with friends. Or in a diary, dear diary, this year I want to lose 30 pounds, I want to make 1 million dollars, and I want to travel to 77 states. Oh, they're just tearing themselves angrily. I will do this this year. <laughs> it's all amazing because after about a few weeks, a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, uh, by the time it gets to February, oh, my new resolutions go with the Valentine. You know what I mean, <laughs> really. But I mean, can we have a new way to set new resolutions? Can we invert the new resolution process? And this is it. Instead of setting new resolutions, let's break it down. So in a year, you've got quarters, you've got months, you've got weeks, you've got days. Look at this. Can we set a new day resolution? Now, this is the way I see setting a new resolution. If you come to me and you say, this year, Tony, I'm going to make a million dollars. I'm going to look at you and say, okay, fine, you're going to make a million dollars, but how am I supposed to believe you? Because you're not doing anything that shows me you're going to make a million dollars. But if you come to me and you say, Tony, today I'm going to make a dime. Does that flow? I can believe that you will make the dime because I can see that you have capacity to make it. But I might not believe that you make a million because you don't have the capacity to make it. But if you tell me you make a dime and you build capacity, the dime becomes a nickel. The nickel becomes a dollar. A new day resolution is like saying I'm going to make a dime. Now if you make a dime, you make a nickel. If you make a nickel, you make the dollar. Then you can make 100 quid, 200 quid, and then you will just be able to get where you're going to. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you do, let me hear you say inspiration. All right, now at this point, I, I, I did a point, very simple point. No matter how far your dreams may look, 24 hours invested will earn a dime. A dime begets a dollar to boot. The dollar end might be a pinch. Achieve the lead and you will be fine. And soon your dreams might be a cinch. Do you like that? I compost that. I think you should probably just write it and then just put it across and just say it every single day. So what we are saying is this, begin each day by setting a new day resolution by ending a dime. See it as ending a dime. Begin each day by setting a new day resolution, end a dime. When you end a dime, the nickel will come. When you end the nickel, you end the dollar and then your dream might be a siege. Now, tell me what you're going to do in the next one for us. Put a comment below and let me know. Let's see. Let's hold ourselves accountable.
there is a principle I think you should consider applying this year. I don't know if you've heard about it, but if you haven't, this would be a good opportunity to hear about it. And if you have, then it would be good to apply it in achieving your goals for 2018. The principle is called the Pareto Principle. Say after me, the Pareto Principle. Now, the Pareto Principle is a very, very amazing principle. It was discovered by Italian economist Wilfredo Pareto. It specifies an unequal relationship between inputs and outputs. The principle states that 20% of the invested inputs is responsible for 80% of the result obtained or outputs. 20% of the invested inputs is responsible for 80% of the result obtained or outputs. That's the Pareto principle. Can we break it down to apply it to setting new day resolutions? Do you want to know? Let me hear you say inspiration. <laughs> All right, so how many hours do we have in a day? We have 24 hours in a day or 1,440 minutes. Now, the Pareto principle says 20% of what you do with your day will give 80% of your total results obtained. Now, 20% of deliberate inputs will give 80% of result obtained. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's divide 24 by 10. 24 by 10 is 2.4 hours. 2.4 hours is 2 hours, 24 minutes. That's 10% of your day. Now, 2 hours, 24 minutes, plus 2 hours, 24 minutes. What it gives you is what? 4 hours, 48 minutes. Now, see what Italian economists is saying. He's saying if all you invest in a day is 4 hours and 48 minutes of deliberate input in what you desire to do, your new day resolution, as regards your new year resolution or where you intend to go, it will give you 80% of the results obtained. And you'll be amazed how this works. So now, let's see how to practicalize this. If there are 24 hours in a day and you have 4.8 hours or 4 hours and 48 minutes to invest, how will you apply it? Now, let me just bring out something really simple. So you could do it in two batches. What kind of person are you? Where, when are you most productive? Are you an early riser? Early to bed, early to rise makes a mark. Healthy, wealthy, and thank you very much. Now let's get back to class. If you are an early riser, you could spend the first few hours of the day logging in your own 10%. So I'll give myself as an example. I'm an early riser, I'm also a late sleeper. Well, if I rise early, I will rise up, say four ish, and then I pray in the spirit one hour. When I'm done praying in the spirit one hour, it's a language of Heaven. Then I just start doing whatever it is I want to do. If I want to write my ideas, I begin working on it. If I need to uh, do a financial model, I begin working on it. Whatever it is I need to do, I just zoom in. I'm, I'm just dialed in on that particular thing. I mean, at that point, I don't care about what's happening in the world. I'm not going to check my Instagram. I'm not going to check my social media. There is no single distraction at that point. Now, if I start by 6, by 8.30, I should have imputed my first two hours, 24 minutes. Now, 8.30 is when people are just getting to work and they're just high five feeling themselves. I'm like, oh, we're getting to work today. And you've imputed your first 10%. Now, if you take a break for one hour and then 9.30 again, you do another two hours and 24 minutes, such that by 12, you're done with your two hours for five minutes. You know what that means? That means if you sleep from 12 o'clock <laughs> to 4 o'clock the next day, you are 80% successful. That's the power of the Pareto principle. You could try that. If you are an afternoon person, I know one of my inspirations, Peter J. Daniels. He wakes up around 11. For God's sake, he walks on his own. I mean, what do you expect? And he probably doesn't get to work until 1. But for God's sake, he's a multi-millionaire. And his family has a bullion van. So that's his own level of productivity and he has written amazing books. Some people are hours, they are most active at night. So if you're an hour and your hour of activity is probably from say 10-ish, just make sure you're refreshed and then you work from 10 to like 12.30 and then probably take a break for of an hour, 1.30 to 
32, 33, 34, you would accomplish 80% of your results. Remember, what we are talking about is how you get to accomplish your goals. So, will you do that today? And let me know. Let me know where you're going to apply the Pareto principle in terms of productivity and how you're going to shut it down. Distractions here and there. Remember, you have to turn off your social media. You have to just let go of all distractions. Your mind has to be settled. You have to be still calm and just dial in on a particular thing that you want to do. Let's do this. Put in the comment section what you're going to do the next 24 hours. And I are going to take 20% of your time. That's 4 hours 48 minutes to achieve 80% of your goals. Let's do a small recap. Remember we said today, instead of setting new resolutions, let's invert the process and set new day resolutions. Now we're setting new day resolutions. Let's apply the Pareto principle, which is the 20-80 principle. That says 20% of the input account for 80% of the results obtained. And see how we can use this to accomplish all that we want to do in the year 2018. And don't forget the poem. Can you remember the poem? Let's say it. No matter how far your dreams may look, no matter how far your dreams may look, 24 hours invested will earn a dime. 24 hours invested will earn a dime. A dime begets a dollar to boot. A dime begets a dollar to boot. The dollar end might be a pitch. The dollar end might be a pitch. Achieve daily and you will be fine. Achieve daily and you will be fine. And soon your dreams might be a siege. And soon your dreams might be a siege. Bravo. So don't forget, don't forget it all starts by investing a minute. Invest a minute, rip an hour. Invest an hour, rip a day. Invest a day, rip a week. Invest a week, rip a month. Invest a month. Reap a year. Invest a year. Reap a decade. And invest a decade. Reap a lifetime. But remember, it all begins with a time. Thank you so much for coming across with us today. All through this year, our videos are going to be on three things to live in faith. For faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Secondly, to live as an inspiration because there is something in you that the world is dying to hear. And thirdly, to live in wealth, for he has given you all things that pertain to life and godliness. So don't forget to like, to subscribe, to comment, share, and follow the inspiration on all social media. I am Tony now. And then my final benediction in French. Listen, à bientôt, bonne année, et live and inspiration. I don't know that's that in French. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Let's go!